Father of God, we want to appreciate you for a privilege like this. We ask that at this time you will speak to our hearts. Teach us your counsel, that your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Quickly, beloved, I want to share one scriptural verse with you as we discuss, as we discuss the concept of dominion. And I will take the text from Genesis chapter 1 and from verse 26, where the scripture says, And God said, Let us create a man after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and every and over and over every crippling things that crippled upon the face of the earth. And God said, let us create, made man, let us make man in our own image. What does that mean? It means that until we come to the image of God, until we become, the, until we become exactly the image of God as God has destined for mankind, according to the original plan, we can never have dominion. Now, the first aim is that is to make man in the image of God. And number two is giving them dominion over the things of this life. Dominion over the powers that be. Dominion over, over, over the manipulations of her. He says, and let us make man in our own image. What does that imply? It implies that as man, we are image of God. Not an image of a part of any form of an animal. We are in the image of God. That is the original plan of God for mankind. That we are his image. And that is what we are looking at this time. Becoming an image of God. Is what that guarantees us the dominion mandate. The original plan of God for mankind can only be received when we have the image of God. According to God's pattern, man must first of all become his image before we can demonstrate the dominion mandate. The original plan of God is that we become his own image. We are made in the image of God before the fall of Adam. And all what God is doing at this time is to see how he can restore us back to that position. How he can restore us back to that mandate. How he can restore us back to that purpose and to that plan that he has for us. If we desire to have dominion, first of all, we must seek to have dominion over the sinful nature. We must seek and decide and make a, 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 conscious, a conscious decision to put off the fleshly self, the image of the Adamic nature, the, the Adamic nature that we have on us. We must put that off and put on the image of God. He said, let us, and God said, let us make a made man in our own image. That whatever we are doing outside the image of God is never God's plan for us. And as truthful as it is, until we become the image of God, other things which the dominion mandate cannot manifest himself in us. We may desire to be running after the other things of this life, but until we have that image of God in us, the dominion mandate cannot manifest itself. We must choose the path of becoming the image of God, and that is the first step, and that is the purpose why Christ came. Becoming an image of God is accepting God who He is and becoming and begin to live is in likeness, which was what Christ came to do. Christ came to give us salvation. And restore us back to God. And restore us back to our own image. Adam in the garden of Eden has already sold out that birthright. So God in his infinite mercy 
looking looking for way of restoring man to himself back, send Christ to come and die. That's, that's why the first step must begin from the, from the point of becoming the image of God. We must have the image of God in us before we can operate in that divine mandate of dominion. In this verse, we can see two things that is clearly stated. One, the image of God and the dominion mandate. And the dominion mandate cannot be manifest until we become the image of God. He said, let us make man in our own image. Not an image of animal, but in the image of God himself. We must choose the path of becoming an image of God by surrendering our life to him, forsaking the things of this world, forsaking the ideologies of men, and become conscious of God's own idea and plan for us. We are meant to think like God. We are meant to act like God. We are meant to live like God. We are meant to operate like God. But all this cannot be in with, cannot be, be and manifest in us with the Adamic nature we have until we have the image of God. We cannot manifest these gifts. You see, let us make man in our own image and then that they may have dominion over the fish of the sea. Over the fowls of the air, over the power on the earth, over every creepy thing that creepeth upon the face of the earth. This is the dominion mandate. And this can only come when we put on the image of God. And putting on the image of God at this dispensation means surrendering our life to Christ and accepting Him as our personal Lord and Savior. The restoration will come. Is we accepting that image of God that brings us to the point of restoration. We have lost it. It has been lost from the days of Adam. And that is why that we must, we must return back. That is why the, the psalmist said, he said, in iniquity, my mother conceived me. In iniquity, we were conceived in iniquity. So that is why there is a need for us to come to God and accept his plan and receive that counsel and receive that plan that he asks for us. Nobody tell the little lad to be able to bite the mom. Nobody tell the little lad to insult someone close to him. You can imagine that a child that is less than less than two years can even insult somebody around him and say, ah, "Look at and, and, and do a different kind of sign, to, a, a, a rebellious kind of sign to parents around them because of what? Because of the Adamic nature in it. That is why the psalmist said, "In iniquity did my mother conceive me." For us to come into the original mandate. Dominion mandate, we must come and return back to him for that cleansing and that, that image will be put on us. It's when we become the image of God that we have the right to this dominion listed in this place. He said, and that they may have dominion over the fish of the sea. That means that having dominion over marine powers. There are powers that operate from the sea. But having, but having the image of God has given up your authority over them. Until you have the image of God, you don't have, you don't have authority over the power that walk in the sea. It's over the fish of the sea. It talks about everything that every living being, everything that man emanated from the sea. He has given us power over them. Number two, he has given us power, the, the dominion mandate over the fowls of the sea. He talks about principality, prince and powers in the market, in the high places that operate in the air. 
You talk about the fowls of the air. You're not talking about just normal birds that fly, but wickedness that happen in the air. Men who do, men, the weak, men, men who choose the path of wickedness and began to operate in the air. Christ, God Almighty, God, by the reason of His image in us, we have dominion over the fowls of air, which are principalities and powers. Number three, dominion mandate is that we have dominion over every earthly demonic oppressions. Is that that we can dip it upon the surface of the earth? He said, and over all the earth and over every crippling things that creeped upon it. That that's that, that dominion mandate over every act of wickedness, wickedness in high places. There are powers everywhere. There are powers working in the earth. There are powers working in the sea. There are powers working in the land. There are powers working under the land. So with that having that image of God is what. That guarantees us this dominion mandate. The mandate of God is that we live in dominion. We are dom- we are meant to be a, a, a dominion being. We are meant to be in power. We are meant to be in authority. We are meant to be in rulership. We are not meant to be subjugated under any form of power because we have the image of God. If you are under the oppression of sickness, this is completely out of God's mandate and plan for you. If you are under any form of oppression, physically, spiritually, by the by the oppressions of the fish of the sea, by the oppression of the fowls of the air, by the oppression of satanic demonic, demonic oppression of the air, then you are outside this mandate. When we receive the image of Christ, we have dominion over all these powers. And that is what I come to bring to your knowledge today. You are indomitable. We are power. You are unconquerable. You are untouchable because you have the image of Christ. I think this is where we have lost it as believers. Because we lost the image of Christ. We are just confessing what that do not belong to us. It does not belong to you because you do not have the image of God. Until a man has the image of God, the dominion mandate cannot work for him. It's like a father who is writing a will for your children. If you are not part of that family, you cannot be part of that will. The dominion mandate is God's own will for mankind. Those that have taken up his own image. They let us make man in our own image that they may have dominion. We must seek for that dominion. We must take the demon. There must be an endless desire for us to have dominion over the works of darkness. And that is what Christ has come to restore us back to that dominion mandate. There is an urgent call for you today to return back to where you belong. And that is becoming the image of God, truly becoming an image of God. There is no way we can experience the dominion mandate in our dispensation when we do take the image of Satan. When we begin to manifest the counsel, manifesting the will, manifesting the desires of Satan. No, we can no more continue in that lifestyle. You are created in the image of God. Beloved, don't be deceived anymore. You are created in the image of God. Don't remain in that oppression anymore. Don't remain under that sickness anymore. Don't remain under that affliction anymore. Because you have the dominion man that you must arise to that to that purpose have to the area god original plan for mankind is that immediately that we put on his own image as he has made us in our in own image we will have dominion over marine powers which are the fish of the sea Fowls of the air, principalities and power, satanic oppression and wickedness in high places, we are, we are destined to have authority over them this all. I pray that as we, as, as we join in this week, as we begin this week, that the Lord Almighty will open our eyes, will open your understanding, will open your insight, that you will come truly to the understanding of this dominion mandate. 
I pray for you that as you go, as you step up this week, I prophesy over your life that the dominion mandate will begin to work in your life. The dominion mandate that you have power over the sea will begin to work from, from today. I decree over your life that you have power over the marine powers. You have dominion over principalities. You have dominion over every demonic oppression in the vicinity you are. You have victory over, dominion over every wickedness in high place. I declare over your week this week, I declare over your life this week that you will have dominion. Dominion over the works of darkness. And I declare over that based on this dominion mandate, I declare over your life now that light will come to every dark area of your life. You are free from that marine power oppression. You are free from that principality walking over your life. And you are free from every satanic oppression. And you are free from every wickedness in high places. I pray for you this week that the hands of the Lord will be mighty upon you. The hand of the Lord will be sufficiently strong over your life to bring you deliverance this week. The tenor of the wicked is over. The tenor of the wicked one is over. The tenor of the ma of marine powers are over your life. The tenor of principality and power are over your life. The tenor of satanic oppression is over in your life. The tenor of wickedness in high places is over in your life. In the name of Jesus. Quickly, before you can enjoy this, you must have fellowship with God and you must put on the image of God. It begins by you accepting Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and surrendering everything to him. Can you do that now? Why not say this after me? Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. And I know you came to restore me back to, to the dominion Christ God has made available for me. I surrender myself to you. I lay all at your feet. And from this moment, I confess you as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name we pray. That is the prayer you need to pray. Put on the old garment of God. Put on that garment, the image of God. And devil, the wicked one will run away from you. I pray that this week, the blessings of the Lord will be upon you. I pray for you that this week, you have dominion over everything that has oppressed your life. You have dominion over everything that has kept you behind. You have dominion over everything that has withdrawn you from where you are supposed to be. I declare over your life this week that you will be a blessing to many. You will be a blessing to your family. You will be a blessing to your children. You will be a blessing to your parents. You will be a blessing to your spouse. You will be a blessing to your community. In the name of Jesus. I come on this dominion mandate in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. Says, I, uh, that they that they will have dominion over every power and everything that operates on earth. I decree dominion over your life in the name of Jesus. You can't have the image of God and be down anymore. You can't have the image of God and be sick. You can't have the image of God and be oppressed. You can't have the image of God and be afflicted. I decree now, let that dominion mandate begin to manifest in your life from this day, throughout this week and all your days in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.